foundation. You set up a foundation here at NAC, which is, you know, has many millions of dollars now. Is that to help or ensure that you can take on more artistic risk and not risk the financial side? Well, I have to go back a little and, 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 and explain. When, when I arrived, this was an organization that relied disproportionately on government funding, and which meant that if government funding wasn't going to come along, you weren't going to do project A, B, or C. And, uh, and the judgment that a group of us made was that if, if, if we could create a new revenue stream, uh, private revenue stream that could fund all of our major new national initiatives, uh, we would be, we would have far greater flexibility, far less reliance on government, uh, and the ability to control our own destiny to, to a far greater degree. So uh, we created the foundation. We, uh, we hired a truly remarkable woman uh, called Daryl Gregerson. Uh, a former uh, orchestra musician uh, turned fundraiser, uh, and a, a woman who, who on the surface was quiet and serious, uh, but underneath there was a kind of passion that just boiled over in terms of, in terms of the performing arts, and, and she put us on the map uh, nationally. So we began to raise money in Vancouver, and it wasn't easy. Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Regina, Winnipeg, you name it, Toronto. How do you raise money in Vancouver for an organization in Ottawa? Well, it's not easy. <laughs> uh, and it means you keep coming back, and you keep coming back, and you keep coming back. And then, in addition to coming back, you begin to find initiatives that are appealing to them. Uh, Such and as? Uh, well, in the case of uh, in the case of Alberta, uh, we did a huge Alberta scene festival. Uh, Five hundred artists from uh, from all over all over Alberta came here. Peter Lougheed was the honorary chair. Uh, uh, it was embraced by uh, by uh, the Harpers, who were then uh, he was then the leader of the opposition, because Alberta. Uh, and, and we got a great many people in Edmonton and, uh, and Calgary to begin to put money into that because as a national organization, we were encouraging Alberta artists. And, and this money raised in Alberta and Vancouver is from individuals, from foundations, or from corporations? We didn't know at first. We, uh, you know, uh, uh, when we started, there was a lot of conventional wisdom that, that the money was going to come from business. Uh, in fact, most of the money we've raised over the last 10 or 12 years, 85 million about we've raised that way, has come from individuals and families. Uh, and, uh, and, and we have used that money uh, to fund things like, as I say, the scenes, uh, our, our Music Alive program in Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Nunavut. Uh, we use that money to, uh, uh, to, do, uh, to do touring. Uh, we, we use that money for the Summer Music Institute, where we bring wonderful young musical talent from around the world. Uh, we use it for a whole range of national activities that we could not have done without that money. So suddenly, we're an organization that has some maneuvering room. And, uh, uh, and after being out in the country for 10 years, people begin to say, okay, I'm, I'm actually an NAC supporter. I don't, I don't go often, but I love what they do, and I, and I support the scenes, or I support the UK tour. Uh, and, and, uh, and so uh, we had the experience uh, uh, a year ago of wanting to go to China. Very expensive, $2 million dollar uh, orchestra tour of China. We ended up raising 1.3 million dollars uh, across Canada and in China for that tour privately. The government of Canada put in 250,000 and we raised 1.3 million privately. So you get a sense of the changing, the changing emphasis in terms of funding sources. And the 1.2 you raised? 1.3. 1.3, roughly how much is individuals, how much is foundations, how much is um, business? 
Uh, some of that was corporate. The lead sponsors were corporate, but most of it was individuals.